Welcome back to the North of the Golden Throne. We're coming here with another battle report. It's going to be ITC Mission 4. What's yours is mine. And we're presenting this from the Atomic Hobby Shop here in Houston, Texas. Or Home Cypress, of, Texas. Cypress, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> same know. thing. It's you know. the same thing. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So, uh, we're going to be having some hot guard on night versus night on guard action. Yes. Today. Yes. Big robots, small men. There we go. Might as well call it Godzilla. Close enough. <laughs> so this is going to be a 2,000 point battle report. Uh, what are your secondaries? My secondaries are going to be Kingslayer. We're going to be, because I want to be taking out that knight, trying to score as many points as possible. We're going to be taking Big Game Hunter because he's got four objectives I can kill. And then, because he has a million and one characters, we will also be doing head Okay. For mine, his list is a little bit different, even though it's kind of a mirror match. I'm going to choose Kingslayer to kill his knight. Who's also his warlord? I have Titan Slayer because he has three knights that I can get points from, and also I'm going to choose old school because I am unoriginal <laughs> and old school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so that's going to be the mission. Uh, the bonus objective in this one is to get both of the objectives that you place down. So uh, let's see how it goes. All right, we'll see you guys in a few. It's already started. <laughs> hey guys, it's Foster. Uh, my last game with Kuyo went terribly so i've abandoned the wolves for now not forever and what we're doing today is we're playing knights and we're playing guard so we're going to start with our knight contingent we have our warlord who's a knight gallant of house terran he has the armor of saint ion and he has the terran special warlord trait that allows him to reroll charges we have our second gallant right over here who is also has a warlord trait of land strider allowing him two extra inches of movement on advances and charges and he gives that as a bubble to other people and then finally we have our crusader now, our crusader is outfitted with the ion shield and is also outfitted with the special battle cannon from house terran that essentially makes a strength nine wounding other knights much more beautifully then we move right on over to our catechin uh, battalion where we are led by two company commanders my counts as Harker because I am poor. Four 10 man squads of basic guardsmen, two lemon rust battle tanks with heavy bolters, one wyvern, and one manticore. We're going to be looking to try and blow our opponent away and get into close combat, which is really the only reason I play this game, is to beat people in the head with nerf bats. So, thank you. All right, I'm here today with my normal army uh, that I take for tournaments. It's going to be a uh, guard contingent with a knight ally. Kind of like something you just saw, but in reverse. And loyal still. All right, uh, we're going to start off with company commander, just regular company commander. Strachan, uh, Scion Primus, nothing special about him. Uh, Primary Psyker, he's going to have Psychic Maelstrom and Psychic Barrier. Also have a Master of Ordinance, who's going to be my Warlord. He has um, Old Grudges as his Warlord trait. Got a five-man science squad, two plasmas, the vulture coming in for DACA, uh, 60, sorry, 50 guardsmen. Um, I have my sideboard of assassins. Right now I have two assassins because those are two, they only matter. Uh, I have a priest and I have eight bulgren uh, mixed with slab shields and uh, the other shields, you know what they are. Yeah. Uh, three manticores. And my baby, a crass knight who has uh, Hesman Mark and a first knight. So that's it, all compact, ready to kill. The 501st is here. All right, uh, we have set up. Uh, right now, Foster is going first. Uh, he deployed his entire army. I try to counter deploy him in a defensive stance. I've got guardsmen protecting my artillery, I've got Bulgren protecting my guardsmen. Uh, he is ready to run at me with his gallants, and I am going to try to prevent that. All right, uh, let's see if I can steal initiative. The answer was no, Steve. This time it's a no. Turn one to the knights with guard allies. So, all right, so what did you do for movement? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's what we did. We went ahead and we advanced forward with our knight because he wants to get into combat on that first turn, punching people in their faces. We then went ahead and advanced to this knight as well, giving him Land Strider to ensure that charge distance. We've got our Crusader back here moving forward 12 inches because we want to shoot. We moved both of our Lemon Russes up 5 inches so we can go ahead and get that double firing with the Russ. We went ahead and advanced our Guardsmen into the building over here. 
so we can secure this terrain piece, well, this objective right over here. We moved these basic guards and up, and we kept these boys over here. Now, the real big thing that I did right here was I went ahead and I shuffled over Sergeant Parker just over enough to where I could catch just the tail end over here, this guy, this guy, and the front right here, maximizing that bubble and giving the reroll of ones. That way I can go ahead and maximize the firepower I'm putting out and hopefully reaching out and touching something that doesn't want to be touched. Right back over here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and target this manticore right here. With your manticore? With my manticore. So we're going to go ahead and do number of shots. Wow. So three shots. It's very impressive. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go ahead and command re that other. As soon as they open it, they stop. So we had a two right there. We're re rolling that other one. <laughs> to stay as a one. Let's see if I steal it. I nope. Did. You also rolled a one. All right. That's okay. The Emperor protects. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, one hit. And no wounds. All right. Well, that was uh, very beneficial for me. I wanted that one to stay alive. It's all what we call uh, strategy in the guard. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and fire our river into our squad right over here that is holding the objective. So 46. I'm going to reroll that low one. All right. Well, there we go. 21 shots. Four. Three rolling ones. Yeah, okay. 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 And that, like boys and girls, like is why we bring Harker. He may not have helped the Manticore out at all, but he's going to do some work, hopefully. Again. All right. Well, we got two more hits. Now, strength four versus T3. We're wounding on threes. Rerolling our one. All right, so we have two, four, six, eight, ten wounds on that guard squad. All right, I'm rolling for my guard. I use prepared positions because I'm not used to going second, so they have a uh, four up save right now. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, that's stats. Stats are alive. Five guardsmen die. Brave soldiers of the Imperium. So since we only moved five inches with our lemon rust, we're going to fire into this manticore back here. We're going to do grinding advance with both of these. But I'm also going to go ahead and fire my heavy bolter at the group of guardsmen behind the over. Okay. So we're going to start off. So first shot, six shots. So that's a three. We're going to re-roll that because of brutal strength. Now this is what we call a critical failure. We lost shots. Walk, walk. But that's okay. Things happen. This is a game after all. So seven shots into the manticore. Now we are within that bubble for Harker. Just buried. So we actually are going to go ahead and hit with five of these. T8. Oh, you're hitting a four here. BS uh, four. Oh, whoops. I'm so used to playing Marines. It's going to be threes. Well, that's going to be one wound. And that's one wound at negative one because of prepared positions. So I'm looking at a uh, four plus. And he makes it. I'm going to do your heavy bolters versus... Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me about that. So, heavy bolters. I need all the help I can get today because uh, apparently big guns do tire. All right. So, that's going to be one wound. All right, uh, one at uh, five up, and That's one guard's been done. Right. So we're going to go ahead, do our double battle can into the Bulgren, and we're going to go ahead and, and uh, hit those guards in the back again. So we'll start with the guardsmen because I know I'll forget them. I'll hit on threes, and three wounds. Uh, three five ups. Or die. Probably. We're going to re-roll that. Brutal strength. 
You're not that strong, bro. Apparently not. We roll that for brutal strength. So, all right, two hits on threes, one wound. <laughs> uh, my my Bulgrins have a two up armor save, and uh, they're also under prepared positions, so they have a one up right now. So uh, on threes, on threes. All right, that's good. So. We're going to go ahead and move into our shots over here. So we're going to start off with Voltaire's into the, uh, the Manticore in the back that we failed to do anything to with this guy right here. 3d6 dropped the lowest for number of shots. All right, so eight shots. Strength nine, so threes. No threes, the, the threes hit. hit, yeah. Okay. All right, so six of those hit. Now we need more threes. All right, so four wounds at negative two. So four four ups. All right, so two go through. Um, I'll command reroll one. All right, so one goes through. All right, so two damage. Two damage. With our Avenger Gatling cannon into the Bulgren. Where's the heavy stubber going? Um, the heavy stubber is going to go into the group of guards in the back. Yep. Okay. So the heavy stubber is in the guards. It's threes and threes. All right, so four wounds from the heavy stubbers. But no negatives, so. So four die. For our Avenger Gatling cannon into the Bulgren. So, strength six versus T5. On three. Alright, so six. Okay. So, three ups. So, uh, three up. He's good. Three up. Alright, he's down to one wound. Next one. He's dead. Three up. He's good. Three up. He's good. And three up. Alright, he's down to one wound. Alright. There are three heavy stubber shots into this group of two guards moving up. Hoping to get a kill. Well, nope. Nothing. <laughs> Defeated by my own rolling. But that's going to end our shooting phase. We can't shoot anything else for right now. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to actually go ahead, if I could find my handy dandy. It's all over here. Full tilt is two. It's two points, yeah. All right, we're going to full tilt. Let's see if I get something. I do. Uh, I'm going to be charging the bull ground only, but we're, I want to see just how far my little man can go. Now remember, we have the re-rolling, and we're going to be doing our Terran. So at the moment he has 3d6 drop the lowest plus two re-rolling charge distances. So now technically this will get me in. Well, no, plus you need, two. You need you needed five plus the two to get in. Oh well, no, this won't get in. So we're gonna have to re-roll this anyway. Wait a minute, uh, 2d3d6 drop the lowest. Yeah, but you need so to yeah, re-roll yeah. the charge. Yeah. yeah. So all right. So. We're going to drop the lowest here. This is going to put us at a 12 inch charge. Okay? So we're going to do something a little bit funnier here. We're actually going to charge this way. Okay? So. We're going to go ahead. I know this seems really, really risky, and it actually is. Uh, um, what I'm hoping that I can do is I can create enough of a hole that Cuyo's going to have a hard time essentially piling all the way in. So we can possibly get ourselves a second chance to pile ourselves in to capture somebody else for a secondary attack. Okay? This is, we're, we're really hoping for some points here. 
because I have a feeling that in the next couple rounds, I'm going to get shot in places I don't want to get shot. So, let's go ahead and do our attacks. He has five native attacks, but we're going to stomp now. Alright, so 14 hits. Strength 8 versus T5, so we're looking for threes. Now, I just want you guys to look at this at home. That right there, out of 14, I needed threes. I actually did reverse math on that. Now, something to take away from this, because we can get mad about it all we want. We can yell to the heavens about how the dice gods are mad at us and they don't want us to win. But at the end of the day, this is a game. This is a dice rolling game, and sometimes you are going to literally roll one, two, three, four, five ones out of your 15 possible attacks out of the 14 that hit. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do something because uh, we want to make sure that we get this. I'm going to go ahead and roll, re-roll one of them. And it is the three that we need. So we're up to seven wounds on Kuyo right now. Seven wounds. Yeah, seven wounds. And uh, it's four ups regardless, so rolling four ups. That was bad. Oh, welcome so, to my world. Six, six fail. All right, so the first one, no matter what you roll, is going to kill one guy. So, second guy. That's another dead man. Third guy. Another dead man. Another dead man! <laughs> All right. Another dead man! <laughs> and how many Bulgarian you got left? Two more. Huh? And? I'm complaining about stats. <laughs> <laughs> My Bulgarians attacks back, hitting on threes, getting one more because I'm in the presence of a priest. Four hits, needing fives, with uh, two wounds, right. negative now, one. So we get three ups, because, actually, yeah, we get three ups, because this is the armor of St. Ion. Okay. So you said two? Yeah. All right, we are good to go. All right. Now, I really, really need this guy dead. You have no idea how bad that even dead. So we're going to go down to three, three CP. To fight again is house terror. Now, I'm not hopeful. <laughs> I've seen this play out before. <laughs> All right. We missed out on six wounds there. So, eight, that is stats. Eight go through. All right. All right, that's a dead bulldog no matter what. Okay, uh, he consolidated uh, into my my guardsman over here and is within one inch of my manticore. Uh, so I'm gonna get my strikes back. They're probably not gonna do anything. Uh, I failed leadership over here and lost one guy and I lost one more guardsman over here. So we'll be back with my turn one. So at the end of round... So at the end of round one, Foster has killed one, held one, and he also has a uh, one kill point. He has no secondaries currently. All right, for my movement, I moved my Manticore out of combat. I moved my other two Manticores to the side so he could shuffle. Uh, I advanced with a guard squad onto the objective. I moved uh, this guard squad forward. This guard squad just readjusted. My knight uh, moved closer to combat, and uh, that is it. Uh, also, my vulture moved forward for fun times. We're gonna start the shooting phase. I'm gonna declare no orders. I don't need orders. Think smart. All right, I'm gonna start off with the manticores. Uh, this manticore, he is going to fire at your uh, gallant. No! Ay, Dios mio! 
Oh, I will rotate El Ions. See you down to two. Yes. All right, number of shots. I'm a real Catechan player, so I get nine shots. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hitting on fives and rerolling ones. Nope, not bad. Four hits, um, wounded on threes. So, four wounds. Decent, decent. On four ups. Wow. So one, oh sorry, two, eight damage. Eight damage. Gotta I'll go, we've gotta go into the special pouch now. Now, if you don't have a special pouch, you need a special pouch. This is where I hold all my special dice, like these D20s that will tell me exactly how many wounds are on my guys. All right, um, I'm gonna start shooting with my knife. All right, uh, everything is gonna go into your knife. Fire everything! Everything. Uh, missiles. Hit. That is nothing. And nothing can be missing. Uh, I'll command we roll one. Oh. oh! That's it. That's why I'm going to command re roll. For your last command point? I have one left. That's all we need. Still didn't pay off! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, this is gonna be D6 damage plus two for a big five. Alright, that puts us up to 13. And I think we are officially chunked to the next tier. There's one more. How is it? Yeah, because oh. you're 24 and you're 12. Yeah, you did 13 wounds to me so far. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Alright, uh, Gatling. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Missed twice. Like a peasant! <laughs> and then you need fives. Fives. So, three? No, four. Alright! Wow. Three go through. So that will be a whopping 12 damage. Yes. You kill him. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> See if he explodes. He does not. Thankfully. <laughs> you have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that is the power of the crass knight. Um, I'm gonna fire my magic core. Nine. I'll be very nice. We're gonna take that nine. So is there objective, or are you just trying to eliminate the enemy? Hit on five. We roll the ones. Four. Ah, one. That's fine. So you tell me you only hit me once? Yeah. <laughs> Threes, we roll. For old grudges. Nothing. Or, yeah. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my vulture is going to delete that guardsman squad. You want me to roll it out? Or yeah, you? I do. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I do. I want you to take your time, too. All right. <laughs> Pressure shots. Hitting on fours. And wounding on threes. Yep. <laughs> Is that all of them? <laughs> no, nope. one. but one. Uh, two. Two. You fool of a took. Well, 16, 17. Heavy vulture. Uh, John Shannon, Michael Griffin. Uh, nothing. So 17. And five, yes? Yeah, five. What if I made them go to ground? 
you want to use your last command point, you could. So now on four. <laughs> and this is why we went to ground, folks. Only five. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. <laughs> I forgot how to count. Yeah. Okay. You got two left. I do. I do. All right. Uh, my shooting phase was over with. I was able to destroy one of his gallants. Um, and I was able to uh, knock down one guard from the squad to two men. So uh, now we're going to go to charge phase. Uh, I forgot to do my psychic ability, so we're passing that phase. <laughs> so, we're going to go over the charge phase. Um, I am going to charge with this Garsman squad. I should need a 7 to get in. I'm going to charge his uh, man person over here. Hassa! Nope. I'll command we roll one of these guys. Hassa! Alright, a 9. All right, I'm rolling the uh, dice for the first Garthian squad because they're within the range of striking in my priest. I get a lot of attacks. Let's see if I can see wake them two up. This is gonna be useless rolling. Yes, it is. For one. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! You fool. All right, you're going to get back to us. Good night. All right, more Garthian attacks. Beating their fists on him. Ah! All right. Uh, now, it's on you. Your attacks. All right. So we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and put two chain sword attacks onto his company commander. Okay. Two chain swords onto his priest. And then three stomps into that one guardsman. Okay. So, somebody command. Hit on twos. Yeah. Wounding on twos. Alright, that's one wound. Negative like four. Alright, uh, his five up. Nope. I'll command reroll it. One hit, wow. One wound. Oh, he makes it. Alright, we have three stops. On what guardsman squad? On that single guardsman. Okay. Uh, he barely killed one guardsman. Right. <laughs> but, we did get headhunter there. Yep. All right, so at the end of turn one, uh, Foster got four points for the primary. He also got one headhunter for killing my company commander. I've got two points for the primary, and I have three points from Titan Slayer for killing his gallant, and I got one point for old school for killing something the first turn. So his movement phase. Mm -hmm. Um, Alright, so what did you do for your movement? So, for my movement, I went ahead and I moved my guardsman into this area and I snaked around my uh, Mr. Man right here. He's going to need a 5 inch charge over on these guardsmen to get in. Um, I'm going to try and shoot him in the face quite a bit. I'm trying to really uh, utilize the abilities for House Terran as much as I can to make sure that I, I maximize my, my faces. Because right now, we are going to definitely need to maximize our phases to, to pull this one out. So, we're going to go to our shooting and we'll see you in a minute. Let's start with our wyvern into the squad right here. Okay. So we're going to see if maybe the spirit of catacombs can come into me. 
Oh, wait, wait a minute. This is a children's show. All right, so there's that one pesky one. Only a little bit better, but that's okay. Uh, so we're up to 19 shots. So we're we rolling our ones. That's a lot of twos. That is a lot of twos. So now we need threes. Reroll. So we got two, four, six, eight wounds. All right, uh, eight four ups. One, two, three, four. Stats are real. Stats are real. Now, unfortunately, when we look at how the terrain is set up right now, we're really going to have to. Kuyo's done a really good job with his charges and tying things up. At the moment, if I want to attack infantry with my anti-infantry guns, the only infantry that I can go for is, quite literally, this group right in here. The others are tied up with my knight at the moment. We're not able to go ahead and shoot these out because we no longer have any LOS ignoring shots aside from my manticore. We really don't want to be wasting our anti-tank on our infantry, essentially. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead... And we're going to go ahead and target this manticore right here with our manticore right over here. So, four, one, brutal strength. So that's ten Aha. shots. So hitting on fours, we roll on one. So we're wounding on threes. All right, so that's going to be four wounds. Not a negative two. He's only got a four up save, right? That's three up save. Three up, so five. five. So two go through. One. Oh yeah, two go through. Yep. All right. For a mighty four damage. I felt it. You were shook it. From here, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to target both of my tanks into his flyer. Now, I know this isn't the brightest move, but we really don't have anywhere else to shoot at the moment. I can't target Strachan in the back because there are infantry in front. Uh, so really all I got is that, that one flyer. So we're going to go ahead, our double shot, and then we're going to do all of our some number shots. Brutal strength. All right, so 11 shots for the main battle cannon. Hitting on fives because he flew. Rerolling once. So from there, we get threes. All right, so two wounds. Negative two. All right, five ups. All right, one goes through. All right, so two damage. Both is at it. All right, so one hit. And nothing. From there, we're going to fire our second lemon rush down there. Okay? Go straight. Somehow Not so worse. strong, bro. Not so strong. All right. Five. All right. So only two. Threes. One. All that fire. Nothing. Well, as I said, so now into heavy bolt. So we got the one heavy bolter shot and five. So one wound from heavy bolter is a negative one. Take one damage. All right, he's taking <laughs> three all together. We're going to target the Avenger Gatling Cannon into the flyer. We're going to go ahead and target our special Relic Battle Cannon into our guy that's taken seven damage so far. We're taking five damage so far. We're also going to go ahead and do both of our... Four damage. Yeah, he's got, that's why, uh, sorry. He has seven <laughs> left. We're going to do both of our heavy stubbers into the flyer as well. And we're going to do, actually, no, we're not going to do the heavy stubbers into the flyer. We're going to do the heavy stubbers into the guardsman squad as well as our heavy flyer. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the guy over here because I think I want to make him go pop. All right, so he's going to get six shots. 
hitting on threes. So five hits, wounding on threes. All right, so I had two wounds. That's quite unfortunate. All right, two five ups. Loving it. The wow. Emperor protects. All right, let's do our stubbers and first, and then we'll do our auto ball. Let's do auto hits first because I don't want you getting out of range. So three auto hits, threes. All right, so that's three wounds at negative one. Three six ups. Three guys Three down. Stubborn. Two moves. Right. Bop, bop, bop. So that's the squad. Now for the Avenger Gatling Cat. Hit on four. Seven hits. Wounding on five. One wound out of all that. Five up. Well, that's unfortunate for me. So, that does take us to our fight phase. All right. Um, at the moment, I actually probably made a mistake here, to be honest with you. At the moment, I could have gone ahead and moved forward with my knight. And if I charged, I would have killed all those guardsmen, and then I would have gone ahead and had another point. I actually would have gotten bonus objective for holding. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do to yep. get the bonus and point, and you I, shot anyway. I got, I got, I got excited. Is essentially what happened. I got excited, and I shouldn't have. This is a teachable moment. Play your strengths. Play the he objective. Is just outside of the objective. Yep, he is just outside of it. Yeah, I think he is just outside yeah, of it. Yeah, this way over three inches. Yeah. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put two swords into the priest. And we're going to put three stops, so nine attacks, into this squad right here. Because I can get more guys stuck in, essentially. So, let's start with our two sword attacks onto the priest. Hit on twos. Both hit. I scared for a second. And twos. One wound. Uh, one four up. Nope. I'll command reroll it. Still no. Hit on twos. Alright, we got all hits. Wounding on twos. Alright, so six die. All right. All right, the end of uh, Foster's turn, he was able to kill two units, he killed something, he held something, and he got an additional hit, 100 point. On to my uh, turn two. And he gets one more kill because of morale. I rolled a five. I moved out of combat with the guardsmen over here. I shifted my guardsmen forward to get some uh, melee action going on. I'm house crash, baby. Time to get it crumping. I uh, brought my assassin over there to uh, mess with his backfield. I moved forward with my vulture to delete that one company commander so I can make up some points. And um, I still have my signs in reserve. Uh, they're going to be the, the secret sauce to my sissy chicken. All right, let's get the roller. Uh, he's gonna do spikes. Spikes! Five. Nope. Six. This is the face of sadness. Hi. The rules show that the harder the cards, it is what charge five. All right. So for one, one damage. One damage. <laughs> All that for one damage. Yeah, we literally spent like five minutes trying to figure this out for one damage. I don't use psychers that much. They just stay for bullgrins. But someone killed my babies. <laughs> Alright, Matt's core is gonna fire at him. One second. Brutal. Four. Alright, so one goes through. Four two. And last one.
six. Uh, for one. For three. I'm gonna do all my heavy bolters. For two. So, yeah, everything into him and then flavors and stuff is in there. All right. All right, uh, missiles. We rolling ones, two hits. Looking for fours. Ooh, nothing. Uh, Gatling. So that's uh, three. All right, so three four ups. Oh, look at that. Right. So pretty. Melta. I'll command we roll it. So, five ups. All right, so three go through. Three go through. That's what I needed. I don't think I'm going to two. So, three go through. All right, so that's a four, eight, nine. 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 No? Yep, down there. Well, yep, yeah, it is done. Yeah, because he had yeah. 18 left. Yep. Yeah. I don't math. All right. Um, Higgy Stubbers. Two. Uh oh. We're good. All right. And Flamer. Are you kidding me right now? Flamer, bro. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> because, because my wife wants me to come home, I will do this once for you. A master of ordnance is going to do his, his shots. He's going to do his one hit, one shot against uh, this bad boy right here. Number of shots, D6 for three. Hitting on threes. For two. Wounding on fours. For nothing. Because you're you need a guardsman. I'm going to charge your guardsman that you put too close to the edge of that, that, no! that building. No! <laughs> no! No! Oh yeah. And I'm also gonna charge the guardsman in the back. Hey, Alright, uh on your guardsman. Ten inches. I get to go as I please. Um and I'm also gonna charge with uh, a man over there. Yep. So looking for uh nine. I get it with a uh, whatever. Right. Hitting on threes because I'm not cool. Wounded on twos. Alright, six dead guards. Back group. Five hits. And another five guards went down. And that's a like six and five guy. Put one back from the uh, first squad. Yeah, five and five guy. All right, uh, eight attacks. I'm using my claw. Hitting on, hitting on twos. All hit. And wounded on threes, re-rollable. Ooh, glad I got that reload. All right, uh, six. Cause it's negative two, right? Uh, it should be negative one. Negative one. Six, six ups. Oh, only four die. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, I get four extra attacks. All right, three more. All right. 
So from here, we have our, com our sergeant with his two attacks. Is it two plus one for the chainsword? Yeah. All right, so three there, and then four basic guy. Wounding on fours, because we have brutal strength. So one wound. Uh, uh, uh. One of them pokes in the eye. All right, and I'm going to pay uh, my last two command points to fight again with my Eversaur. All hit. And all wound. Well, not all, but we're going to take him up just for time's sake. Okay. He gets to consolidate six inches. All right. All right, the end of turn two. Um, I kill more, I hold more, and I also got three of my Kingslayer points. And it's on you, sir, turn three. We're gonna make you some quick turns, so we're going straight into shooting phase. We're going straight into shooting phase. I'm gonna go ahead and target this group here with this wyvern. All right. Ooh, that's some good really shooting nice. right there. So 20 shots. And threes, re rolling. All right, so we got three, six, ten. And one, two, Four, five. One lemon rust that moved his 10 inches to fire into this big bad knight. Right. Brutal strength. You don't lift, bro. Four. Nothing. You don't lift, bro. So the heavy bolters. Those are Nothing two because hits. you moved. Remember? Negative one. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and fire him into the end of the night. We'll see you over the top. So 12 shots. Maybe this will make up for our earlier failures. Eight. Two. 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 Five ups. All right, two, two go through. All right, so four, four damage. Four damage. I'm gonna go ahead and target this boy right here with my wyvern. You're targeting what? The manticore with uh, the second four wounds. With your manticore? With my manticore. All right, so six shots. Hit. And four wounds. Shooting phase with our knight back here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and unload so I can see you. I'm gonna shoot you with my with my rapid fire battle cannon right over here. Okay. Into this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and fire the Avenger into Strachan. Actually, I'm gonna fire the Avenger into into your knight. I'm gonna put both the Stubbers and the Heavy Flamer into Strachan. Okay. So we're down to five percent. <laughs> What's this? Uh, this is the uh, battle cannon. Alright, so three wounds. Alright, two go through. Oh, so two blows up. Nope. Yeah. So, um, Linger got the camera. Where's that going into? Into your knife. Huh? Wow. So that doesn't go on the So two. Uh five ups. 
All right, one goes through. All right, phone was dying, but uh, in that turn, I was able to kill his knight in close combat uh, with, with some firepower from my knight. Uh, end of my turn. I've killed uh, two units, and I'm holding one, two, three objectives, and you're holding... Uh, are you holding three objectives? Right there, right there, yep, right there. I'm holding two. Yep, so... I hold more, he kills more. So turn four. All right, his magic core shots, he got two hits. Three, so. one. And one. <laughs> Five up. All right. Two damage. Two damage. We're gonna do heavy stubbers into it, well, heavy bolters into him as well. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my lemon rust right here. Okay. Hovering flyer. Brutal strength. So seven shots in total for the grinding advance. Same force. And threes. Two. Up ups. All right, two go through. So that's going to be four damage. Heavy bolters. How much damage does he have left? I think he's going to take a two. Nothing from there. So he's down to seven. All right, second. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Ugh. That's bad. He's running advance, so eight shots. That's not so bad. <laughs> eight shots, one hit. And nothing. So, uh, three heavy bolt moves. One hit. One wound from heavy bolt moves. And he takes it. On the six. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead. This right here. I would go ahead and target this guy, but he's a character. I would target that guy over there, but he's a character, and this is a stupid plane in my way. Yep. Strength. Aha, not so strong, bro. All right, so 20 shots. I'm starting to think that my guard army doesn't like me. When I miss out of 20 shots, I miss 14 of them. No, they all whoop. So six whoop. Three ups. Six four ups, sorry. Alright, so uh, four die. We're going to do our stubbers into that lone guy. The lone guy. The lone man. Okay. So, nothing. Nope. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and declare our charges. I'm going to go ahead and charge this right here. Oh, look, we made it in. All right, uh, heavy bolter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and charge my lemon rust into your vulture. Okay. Uh, he makes it in. All right, I'll come back to you after uh, I roll Overwatch. I'm gonna do five sword attacks on you. We're hitting on fours right now. So two, that's a four. Yeah, I said wounding on four. Oh yeah. Wounding yeah. on fours. Wounding on threes. Alright, so I think you just take 12 damage. Consolidate. Alright. And over here. Alright, so three attacks hitting on fours, lemon rust. One hits. One wound! All right, I'm good. Yeah. Well, nothing with the manticore. Nothing with the wyvern, apparently. All right. <laughs> Whoop you do! I had to try. All right. Uh, leadership on these guys. All right, they're fine. All right. Uh, end of your turn. You got one kill. 
Yeah, you, you got, killed at least one thing. Yeah, you killed one thing. And you got one big game hunter. All right, here comes my turn. All right, guys, I flew. I went back to fly mode, flew out of combat, moving forward with my knight to kill his knight, and uh, event move my guardsman up here so I can be on this objective. Um, also, uh, let me advance these two units. First guy. Second guy. All right, I'll come back to you and shoot him. All right, in his explosion, he was able to kill four things. He killed my Manticore, my uh, Master of Ordinance, the end of my Scion Squad, and my uh, Scion Prime. Yes. The Meltem. Number of shots, five. Yes. All hit. Threes. And three wounds. So three just go through. Nigga, four. Yep. He's got two wounds left. Oh, kill him with the stuffer. Alright, all stubbers hit. Come on, stubbers, bro. Oh, you rolled one and two, what was it? Oh, yeah. Brutal yeah. strength, yeah. yeah. And then grinding events. So, you no movement. Yeah, no movement. So, if I'm on the last tier, am I hitting on sixes? Yes, you're hitting on sixes. One hit. One hit. Oh, one wound, one dead. One dead guard. I'm at the guardsman group with the Manticore. The Manticore is out of ammo, it's turn five. With the heavy bolt. I don't know if you have LOS. You too, man. I see the, these two guys right back here. Okay. The three guys, because they're all okay. buddy humble. So, that is two hits. Nothing, so it doesn't matter anyway. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and hit them with the Wyvern. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Nine shots. Wow. So, nine shots, only four hit. Alright, so four. Alright. Four down. Into that flying boy. I don't care. Oh. Um, yeah, you were taking it from the wrong one. I was trying to kill the one on the objective. Yeah. All right. All right. So, a little strength. So, six shots. All right, so, four hits. Three wounds. Five ups. Oh, uh, all of them get blocked. All of them get blocked. That's about perfect, of course. Right? All right. That's it for your turn? That's it. All right. I'm going to say more. That was my dice rolling. Ending yeah. score is 25 to 23 for the Cyrus 5 first. What do you think, Foster? I think I need to roll better. No? Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ultimately, in this game, I, I think that a lot of what got me was, was bad rolling. Um, I mean, you guys saw, saw those dice rolls. I mean, yeah, we got lucky with the Ogrins early on, with the Bullgrins early on, but again, you can't, this is a dice game. You can't be mad about dice rolling because that's part of the game. So we'll see how we tweak this <laughs> list for later down the line, and we'll probably be back with Wolves next time. Guys. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more battle reports. All right, see y'all later.